Hey there guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add supports in Orca Slicer. I repeat, we are in Orca Slicer and I'm gonna show you how to add supports and also how to optimize the supports. So as you can see here, I have added Eevee. This is an awesome 3D print. I advise you to print it yourself. So once we're in the prepare tab here, you can see here, this is how you add supports if you go down a little bit, right? Sometimes this is not checked, but as you can see here, when things have floating origins where you think they're going to need supports because the 3D printer can't just print this, you know what I mean? And you're quickly probably going to realize when you screw up prints that I need supports, right? And you're like, how the heck do I add them? So all you do here is make sure you have all your settings on your printer, right? And then once you go down here, the third tab over, it says supports, right? And then what we do is we click this, it says enable support. So we click that and there's different types of support. There's normal. And then there's tree. These are the two basic ones we use in Orca. So let's do normal and then we'll let's click on the preview tab here to see what they look like. Because when we click on this preview tab, the, the Orca slicer gets everything ready for it to send, be sent to the printer. And as you can see here, this is what normal looks like. These are the normal supports. They're kind of like a blocky like structure and all you do is peel those off after the print's done, right? And it depends the style of print on which you're going to use. I'd like to give you some advice on what, what type of support to use, but it kind of depends the type of print. So if we go back, if we go back to the prepare tab here and we switch um, the type of support, let's go to the tree. And I always advise people to have the auto feature in the support because if you go on manual, that's, that's beyond beginner stuff because what you're essentially doing is creating it all yourself. So let's click on the tree here, the tree type of support and then click on the preview tab. And as you can see here, this is a different style of support. They call it the tree support. I tend to use this on small little stuff like this a little bit more. It just kind of like breaks away a little bit better. And you know, it really kind of just depends the type of print like I was saying. And as far as optimizing the support, what I would do is look at the type of print you have here. Like this is Eve and try to look at the support to see if it's going to break away easy. You know what I mean? Like a low clearance spot like here on its ear, that's going to break away quite easy. But if we were to if we were to switch it to normal support and then click on the preview tab here, this will just take a second to to comprise. As you can see here, this looks like it the print might be tough to get out of that support, you know, because it's like it's more of a built-in structure. So hope this helps you learn how to add supports in Orca Slicer and also how to optimize the supports. Consider subscribing guys to the channel here. I'm just a, a nerd doing my damn thing here. Also, I'll have all my affiliate links to buy filament and all that cool stuff in the description. I will see you in the next one. Peace.